My house is shaking. Why is my house shaking? Look at this TikTok from Liz in San Angelo reacting to the moment the 5.1 quake struck. While San Angelo may be 200 miles away from Central Texas, 33 years long UT Austin geology professor Matt Bangs tells me Central Texas may not be in the clear when it comes to earthquakes. Well, earthquakes occur because large stresses accumulate in the, in the subsurface. Bangs tells me it's like a rubber band. The more you stretch it out and stress it, the more likely it is to slip and snap. When that happens, it can elevate fluid pressures and change the stress conditions within the rocks. The professor tells me water and other fluids play a big role in causing an earthquake. The U.S. Energy Information Administration says Texas is the biggest exporter of natural gas in the nation, making up 43% of crude and 27% of natural gas in the country. In turn, that means more fracking happens in the state. During fracking, wastewater is pulled from the ground and pushed back in, creating more pressure, which in turn Banks tells me it could possibly lead to more tremblers. Some of those operations can be important, but um, it's not necessarily, the cause and effect is not necessarily easy to predict. As for if Central Texas is built for an earthquake, I zoomed with City's Emergency Management Supervisor Ryan Durker, who tells me although Waco may not be an active quake zone, his team is well equipped for any situation. Modern building technologies have come a long way that will be stable in just about any sort of situation, well beyond um, any sort of potential magnitude of earthquake that's capable in Central Texas. 